for me, Litchfield really is a place where everyone can find their little patch of paradise. So I've been, I mean, I've been coming to Litchfield since I was old enough to bob around in floaties. That's when I was first coming here with my mum and family and it's, uh, it's all escalated from there. When I leave Darwin, when I'm heading to the park, we'll usually bomb straight down the highway, straight down Stuart Highway, hit Bachelor, and you'll hit Florence and Bewley Rock Hole first. Florence is, um, it's, it's a real rainforest down there and you're surrounded by rock and it's, it's a little oasis. You can, you can just sit in there with the insects. There can be dragonflies buzzing around and it's, it's just like you're sitting in a little spa. When you are in that area, you've got Florence and Bewley within a quick walk of one another. Bewley really is sprawled out, so you can walk along it for half an hour and um, check out different areas. You can start at the top and work your way down the bottom and find your favourite pool. It's a great place to go in the morning. The sun's on the rocks and it's a nice, uh, it's a nice freshen up. So when you're walking along that path between Bewley and Florence, definitely keep your eyes open for a a special little secret spot along the way. There's a set of rock pools that tend to be uh, tend to be less frequented than others. It's, it's, you can usually find a place to to get amongst it on your own. Lunch around the water is perfect. Brawl out on the rocks like a goanna. Set up wherever you want. You can jump in, jump out. Make sure that there's always uh, still enough left in the tank for the next set of activities. Another great spot along the Litchfield Loop is Green Ant Creek Walk. You can pull up there and, and walk up to the top where the falls are, and so make sure you bring yourself a pair of swimmers. Definitely pick the right time of the day to go. Um, it can be hot, you need your water, you need your sunglasses and your hat, but when you get to those pools at the top, it's phenomenal. It's a great place to cool down. Camping at Litchfield, look, whether you're staying overnight there for a day trip it's super accessible uh, there's places to stay all over the all over the whole area at the end of a big day there's nothing better than going up to that campground rolling out your swag and sipping on a beer so if you're waking up in Litchfield Toma is a cracking sunrise spot it's an easy five minute walk down from the car park and the views are spectacular I think after a day in Litchfield, it's, you're definitely refreshed. You've spent the whole day in crystal clear, fresh water, straight out of the springs. It's just a place that you, you want to get to. Um, you can get outdoors, you can get away from people. There is a reason that the locals love Litchfield. My name's Nathan Lewis and this is my guide to Litchfield. <laughs>